And welcome back. You know, there's so much going on on historic C Street, and so much is yet to come. There is an art project underway that helps connect off street parking with the C Street businesses in a very colorful way. Now, you've seen some incredible murals, but now I want you to consider mosaics. What's next for C Street in terms of your murals? We have a beautiful new mural that's painted on the side of the um, uh, Footbridge Boutique by Linda Baseri. And because we're an arts district and we are a place where people can come to create themselves and beautiful architecture, we're also going to create our landscape by building a beautiful mosaic pathway in the alley between Commercial Street and our parking on Blaine Lane behind. So the city is has a wonderful big project to make new parking lots and to refurbish the alleys so that they're friendly and enticing and um, inviting. And part of that is to create a wayfinding system that is colorful, fun, interactive, bright, and um, entertaining. Describe the mosaic pathway that will take us to and from C Street and the new parking area. It's called Making Tracks, and it's the story of the path from uh, history up to today. It's the story of the railroads. It's a story of the mercantiles that are a part of our environment. So things you will see are you will see um, a very large train engine. You'll see train tracks, the footbridge, and then a lot of the creatures and people that inhabit the space now. There will be um, birds, bees, and butterflies floating in the air by the trains. There will also be bicycle riders. There will be the old-fashioned penny farthing bicycle floating in the train tracks. And one of the things that I love and I'm excited about is there's going to be an interactive hopscotch section. It's a 100-foot alley, so there's a lot of space to do fun things. So in the middle, there will be a time and a place that you can actually um, hop on very unusual footprints. All right, real quick, tell me about the westernmost mosaic alley. It, it, as much as this side of Commercial Street, the east side is kind of more the railroad and the people and what have you. The west side's where the music and the fun happens, well, that's too. that's our entertainment zone. We're very excited about, about our neighborhood and the way we've been able to shape it so that people feel comfortable being here. So we have our, our music down on the western end, and that way we don't interrupt a loft apartment where people want peace and quiet. Um, it's a wonderful area, and we want to honor that. So the pathway there, that 100 feet, is kind of given over to music. Rather than train tracks, it might be piano keys, and there will be floating musical instruments, tipping hats of various generations, like a newsboy's hat, a top hat, a beret, maybe a fireman's hat. There will also be elements of um, our entertainment industry. There will be beer steins, there will be coffee cups, tea kettles, there will be champagne bottles, there will be possibly a martini glass or two, and these are all images that people could sponsor. They're part of the fun of our western end. We call that the Dr. Tickle Alley because Dr. Tickle is one of our favorite characters. There is already a sculpture there with his fabulous handlebar mustache. So this is going to be beautiful when it's done and we might actually see this in place by fall. By fall. It will, uh, the project is scheduled to be over in October. It'll be done by October. Yeah. Wow. Christine, thanks for all your hard work. You're welcome. My pleasure. I love it. These artists have so much vision, and I love they the do. character that they're bringing to our city in the street. I agree. It's obvious that she loves it. And by the way, if you're interested, reach out to Christine at Mosaic Rose for sponsorship opportunities. Here's the thing. Some people are donating things like plates, tiles, coins that can be a part, maybe okay. historic little remnants of the past mm -hmm. that can be part of these mosaics that will lead the patrons, you know, to and from the parking areas in a fun and creative way. And it really reflects the spirit of historic Commercial Street. And it's just going to be great. They're going to have this done in October. They get up real early in the morning 
and they're going to, you know, pour the concrete and then put those in. And when you see them, they look like they're backward. That's because they have all the tiles laid out and then they flip them onto the concrete. Onto the concrete, okay. and then they have to clean up around it. It's just, it's what a amazing, process. a labor of love, indeed. And you have to have that vision of what the whole thing is going to look like yeah. and how it's going to come together. And they do. Yes, that's yep. amazing. Well, up next, we're going to wrap it up. So stay with us.